Hi, I'm Minister Ntwoka. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for December the 21st, 2022. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatude Fashola, has said that the sitatum order by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB contributed immensely to the seeming delay in completion of the second Niger Bridge project. Mr. Fashola made this disclosure when he appeared as a guest on Channel's television's breakfast show, Sunrise Daily. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has sent 819.5 billion Naira supplementary budget to the National Assembly. The budget is expected to be funded by domestic borrowings. This will increase the budget deficit to 8.17 trillion Naira. To judicial matters, the Central Criminal Court London has again denied bail to former Deputy President of Senate Ike Kurimadu. The court, which is also known as the Old Baileys, in a pre-trial hearing on Tuesday, gave its verdict, denying the bail on grounds that Mr Kurimadu would flee the country. On the international scene, President Vladimir Putin believes Russia is not to blame for the war in Ukraine, adding both countries are sharing a tragedy. During a televised address with senior military officials, the Russian president says he continues to see Ukraine as a brotherly nation. And in sports, France star Kylian Mbappe returned to training with Paris Saint-Germain on Wednesday, just three days after he ended up on the losing side despite scoring a heart trick in the World Cup final. The 24-year-old cast a despondent figure in the aftermath of France's loss to Argentina, led by his PSG teammate Lionel Messi in a penalty shootout, despite his goals twice bringing the 2018 champions level. And that's the Evening News Recap. Visit ChannelsTV.com for details on these stories and more. I'm Melissa Walker. Thank you for watching.